Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special figure showcase and unboxing it's something rather new that I'm going to do with this channel and it's mainly down to this figure. I mean I've reviewed quite a few figures, I've got quite a few figures and it's not very often something like this comes along and just totally, totally blows my mind. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. Obviously when I do the unboxings, when I'm doing a review, there's usually only a few things to show you with this. The amount of accessories, the amount of surplus things, the stands, the flame effect, everything that I'm going to show you and hopefully do this figure some justice in this showcase video uh, to get across. I mean, literally, I'm blown away by how I'm going to use the word spectacular. I really am. Um, even though, as I say, it's nothing to do with Generation 1. It is so far away from, I suppose, Transformers um, as in themselves, although it is obviously a transforming battleship. It is so far away from anything that would be, I suppose, in my comfort zone. But again, it's completely blown my mind. And I think that it would only be fair to do a video like this to show you everything that's on it. Now, this is a masterpiece scale figure. Um, when I was when I do my update videos, uh, you know, the What's Happening Wednesdays and the Transformer Facts Friday, I saw some images of it. And again, I was very intrigued, shall we say. So I got it from Show Z. There's going to be a direct link, of course, in the description. And it just, it is, it's crazy. So hopefully I can give you a real good showcase of everything first and foremost that comes in the packaging and how you can display it and an abundance of ways and just let's just i'm going to stop waffling and hopefully do this figure justice now the other thing is the name isn't the greatest either so, so i believe it's by toy easy hobby it's called terrapa js04 blaze envoy and it is a yamoto battleship and yes i had to write that down because it is just a huge name so it is a samurai battleship so this is the box it's huge there it says blaze envoy the box is a bit like your kang toys and your masterpiece figures premium finish looking absolutely beautiful it is incredibly articulate there is the main robot there there's some of the poses you can do and then do you know what it doesn't even show you the battleship that it can transform into on this so i suppose that's another thing that's crazy so it comes in a big box because this isn't the only thing that comes in the package what else comes in the package is i always laugh when i say this this is i call it a novel because the instructions are huge so hopefully i say i'm going to show you a load of things on here so it's got all these accessories it's got so many little points it's got a stand um, and as i'm about to show you it does transform into a huge huge battleship but so not only does it come with the instructions, which are very detailed, um, etc. It comes with this first and foremost. So this is Blaze Envoy. This is something else that comes inside it. There is, again, just, I mean, you know, with the premium products of Masterpiece, they do, as they say, the Richard Hammond sale from Jurassic Park. No expense spared. They really mean that. So this is a standing of him that comes. Let me just quickly open up the rest of this. So this is all in a plastic casing. You've got the two, so you've got a female version of it, Japanese anime, which looks amazing. There he is. And of course, you've got the stands. So let me just again show you all the parts in here. So these are all the flame attachments that you can attach to the figure and to the swords. There are the actual stands that you can put these, I suppose, exactly that standees on. So that is the one package that comes with it. I haven't even got enough space, as I say, in this review station to show you everything. That's again, one of the main reasons why I'm doing this. Then before we even get to the figure, there's another box. This box has got the helmet, both parts, which I'm going to attach and show you in this video. Um, I'm going to as well, as I say, once I've got the figure out of the packaging, once I've shown you a few things, I'm going to go back to normal, stand behind the camera and just show you how you can pose him on and off the stand. The stand is amazing. I mean, look at all these little bits. You've got all these little turrets and guns that are going to go in the battleship mode so how many's there there's at least 25 on there and then of course because it's two-sided there's the same so there's all of these bits to attach we've got the stand which even inside the stand you've got the main display stand to attach to the back of the figure two of them so the smaller one for the battleship uh, or robot if you've got him completely lying down and the bigger one for the robot and you've got these amazing stands which are going to rest the uh, samurai blades in which again it's just a lovely little touch um hopefully you're still watching by now as i say i was completely so stunned by this that i really felt that i had to do this i started to unbox it and open it but there was just too much there was too much to go through too much to show you and it wouldn't have been fair on the figure to just open it out and so yeah by the way it comes with all this so here is the figure itself 
let me get this out of here and i've partially partially taken some of the um the wrapping off it because it came in all of this sticky on every single limb and pretty much every single so the upper arm the lower arm the thigh the lower leg it came wrapped in this protective plastic there's still some there which i'm going to take off for you now um, as i say as we took as we talk literally as i say completely covered in that so yeah premium price but look look at what you get so this is completely bog standard haven't put any attachments onto him yet i'm going to show you this in two seconds there's more attachments just for when he's in the battleship mode you've got a crane you've got antennas and then this is the this is the oh this is amazing this is i was going to say the piece de la resistance or just i suppose the finishing touch what just blows it away the samurai blades like this you can of course slide them out like so there's two are they samurais are they katanas again correct me in the comments guys ready for the full review so there's the blades and then if i go back to the other box before i show you the figure and we get all of the there's so much stuff get the flames that come with it the flame effects so these are stored in and behind this part so here is the giant giant flame so look at this so you can then slot this over like so that's just amazing wow um, and again it, it still actually transforms and it still actually is a figure in its own right it is still fully poseable you can put these on the blades you can put them on the shoulders let me just quickly then show you the figure and then i'm going to adopt the normal sort of i suppose review thing i'm going to go behind the camera we're going to put the shoulder we're going to put the uh what's the word i'm after Helmet, that's the word. We're going to put the helmet on and show you that. So here is the figure. It is masterpiece size. The detail on it is incredible. We've got some light pipe in there for the eyes. It is fully articulate. And now I'm going to hopefully do this figure some justice. Jump behind the camera and just show you how articulate it is. And just basically how you can use the stand and the poses you can do with that. Right then, so here he is in his robot mode. And again, I'm just going to show you, I suppose, a few of the features and the things that we've got of him. Now, first and foremost, I want to get across just how big this guy is. Now, I mentioned he's sort of masterpiece scale, but to be honest, he is bigger. I've just got some standard Takara masterpiece figures down off the shelf for a size comparison. And there's a Seeker Jet, you know, that's not one of the smallest masterpiece figures at all. And he is head and shoulders and some more taller than him. There is, of course, Crosscut. So these are your standard sort of sized and scaled figures. And he's just, you know, massive, nearly two times the size of Crosscut. So again, hopefully that's going to give you an idea of just how big uh, this guy is, to be honest. Let's move him out of the way. Um, some of the things, again, I'm not going to do in this video, but show you. So if you remember when I showed you all of these little guns, which are on this sprue, if you look here on the side, this is all of the holes and the attachments where indeed you would attach them all. But obviously for this video, it's all on the back as well. I'm not going to be attaching all of these, uh, boring you, showing you that. The detail on this, the kibble isn't that big either. I mean, look, you can bring this up and you can spin it around. Oh, I've just popped that out. Luckily, it is a ball and socket, but it's because I was reaching around. I suppose, again, showing you the fact that it does pop off and doesn't break. It is reassuring if you're thinking of getting one, but you can bring these up have them as exactly that they have sort of wings um loads of sort of display ideas let's just tip it down for now because you can't see it anyway right let's get into stand up that's better so we've of course got to put his helmet on here's the standard helmet there's loads of detail on that here is the front part which again you can see is going to clip together i'd say relatively easy it does and then i would imagine that this is going to slot over yeah, there we go. Again, relatively easy. Now, you can't even really... I mean, that's made it even taller. It's made it huge. Right, let's have a look at what we can do with these katana swords and blades. So, look how good this is. Here, of course, is the casing. There's a huge uh, tab on the side there. So, we can pop this on. This might take a bit of pushing in because it's brand new. Nope, there we go. That's going to stay there. Of course, I've got the small one. I've got the small one still in there. Is it called a sheath? I'm not too sure. I'm just going to call it a case because if there's something I'm not 100% sure on, I won't keep saying it. But again, let me know in the comments if I got that right or wrong. There is the small blade. 
So again, I mean, look at that. It's so, so good. I've took the flames off the blades just for now. Oh, I need to stand him up properly. I'm struggling with that. There's the huge blade. So we can pop this in exactly, as you can see, the shape completely lines up with the blade, like so. And it is really, really easy to attach into his hand. If I take this, show it around. I'm gonna show you the articulation on him in a second. See how we've got that groove there on the inside of his hand? with the extra tabs this is going to fit perfectly along the grooves the cutouts rather of this particular sword so we can just pop that there that fits in it's holding it in before you even clasp the fingers together so you can see just how that is going to work and then if you'll remember oh i'm knocking the camera over because i can't reach here is the flame effect you can clip this around i find it i'm saying that now until it probably falls off i find it easier to just attach it like so. Now, with regards to the flame effects, I've only showed you them on the swords, but there's so much more. So I think I'm gonna have a quick go at showing you just a few more. I'm just gonna take this out of his hand because I need to show you the articulation. So if I bring it down, the head sculpt is now looking beautiful. I've just knocked a figure off underneath, that's all, don't worry. If I take the helmet off, you can do this with the helmet, but for obvious reasons, I just wanna show you that you can spin this around, it can look up and down, you can see there's a waist swivel, the shoulders will come right out. That is die cast in there as well. So super durable, right out, there's um, a shoulder swivel. There's die cast in the bicep flexion. There is wrist flexion. There's articulation right down to every individual knuckle. The hips all go out to the side. Even if that, I think they are on ratchets, they must be, but they're not making the click, click sounds that you expect to hear them. That'll go out to the side. It'll swivel round and round. You've got a knee bend. You've got an ankle tilt and rock. As you'd expect, full I'm sure you've got an ab crunch as well. To be fair. Yep, you've got an ab crunch as well. Look at that. Full articulation at masterpiece scale. Exactly what you would expect. Before I just very quickly show you how we can use the stands in a few different ways. If you remember, I showed you all of these flame effects in the first part of the movie. Not the movie, the video. We can then attach these. I'm hoping that these are about the same. Or do I have to physically take, I'm gonna have to physically take these off. So you can attach these. See how they just clip around? Around this. I've not had a go at this yet. So let's see if I can get it right straight away. I'm imagining that that's where it goes because that's where the tab is lining up. Sometimes, as I say with these videos, I perhaps should, or is it gonna go that way? Uh, I perhaps should, you know, have a go off camera um, at attaching these blades. Is it gonna go that way round? Let me see, it must do, but anyway, right, these are going to attach, I'm going to do this in a second for you. I also want to show you that even right down to the minute detail of these tiny, tiny little ones, you can attach these via that little tab that is on the side. I definitely need to move this closer so I can see what I'm doing. You've got these tiny tabs on there. There's a little hole on it. There you go. So there's a little flame effect. You can put these all the way down the arms, down on that side, which I probably will do in a second just to show you. But what I want to do definitely first and foremost is just show you another amazing way that you can display him with his stand. So let's move him there just for now. Please stand up. And here's his normal stand, which you can see you can put this particular stand in and have him displayed in boat mode mainly. Or in fact, no, that's the one for the boat mode. So you can see how this clicks in. It's full range, full articulation. And to be fair, this as well for the boat, but mainly for robot. That peg will go right in, as they always do, pretty much into his butt right at the back there. So you would attach that in there. And then, of course, you could attach him via there and stand him up much, much easier. One very quick thing that I do want to show you is by getting these two stands. This is just another great uh, little touch, I suppose. Where's the other one gone? There's the other one. You can stand these on top of each other. Um, and I'm going to put this here. I'm going to have to show it you in a second. What I'm doing is I'm just going to put the katana blades um, into them. So let's pop that one in. In fact, I can show you now. I'm going to pick, I just stuck that in there. So that's why there is. So that's going to rest oh, in like so. And in fact, where's the other one going? I think I've just knocked it off. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pop it on there and show you how he displays with that.
So this is one amazing way that you can sort of display them. You can see on the stand, we've put the katanas um, on the on their stands, to be honest. And even with all this big bulk and everything around him, he can kneel down in front of them. He rests completely by himself. The stands are here as well. And to be honest, you can use these if you wanted to. Again, with him being a sort of samurai, you can use these as, I suppose, wings or different ways to pose uh, the particular figure as well. Just making it look really really good i've got nothing else left to say um i'm going to do one more quick thing for this showcase i'm going to stand him back up i'm going to attach all the flame bits to him and then we're going to do i suppose a film around him and we're going to just round the video up right there so let's have a look at that so then just for the last part of this showcase i just want to again give you an idea i suppose of how good that looks i haven't even attached them all i've just mainly gone for this particular side there's so many more if we have a look there little attachments of flames that you can attach to these via the guns via the little ports there's just again it's just such a great figure um and i think as i say by doing it a little bit like this that's just him standing on the base again i've not used the stand you could put him on the stand put him in more dynamic poses if you wanted to but as i've just said i did want to do this figure a bit of justice rather than a standard review which of course is coming up but there you go guys this is a showcase of blaze envoy let me know what you think of him in the comments and indeed if you want me to do more things like this with the more detailed um and i suppose they're a little bit more extravagant figures let me know in the comments guys take care